vegan chili. That's the recipe that we're cooking today, so cook along with us. But before we get cooking, hit the subscription bell and the little notification button so that you subscribe to our channel. Okay, so we're starting with one onion today and cutting that into nice big pieces. This is a rustic dish, so don't worry too much about the size of your dice. We're also chopping up three cloves of garlic. We're going to put that all together in a little bowl and put it to the side. For this recipe, you want to do all of your chopping, all of your getting things ready before you start cooking, what's called the mise en place. Next, we're chopping up two stalks of celery. And we're going to put that aside in its own little bowl as well. Now we're adding one bell pepper, again, chopping that up, not just, you know, rustically good sized dice. And we're going, you can use any color of bell pepper. Today we were obviously doing a green one, but you know, red, orange, yellow, whatever you like. We're also adding half of a jalapeno pepper. Now the heat in a hot pepper is found in the seeds and the white membrane. We wanted some heat, so we're keeping those seeds and membrane in there. If you don't want the heat, feel free to remove the seeds and membrane before you dice your, bell pep your hot pepper up. And you know, if you want it even hotter than jalapeno spice, feel free to substitute a different hot pepper. Here we go, we've got all of our bowls ready. Now we're gonna get that can opener going and open up our cans. And we're gonna use one can of chickpeas, one can of kidney beans, one can of lentils, and we're gonna open the can of tomatoes as well. Here we're adding a large pan or a big pot and down to medium heat, adding an ol our olive oil and then getting the onions and garlic going, sauteing that for about five minutes and then adding in our celery. And we're gonna also add in our uh, peppers and saute everything for about five minutes. Here we're just giving the celery and the onions a little mix around before taking the time to add in the bell peppers and the jalapenos. And giving those a stir and saute for about five minutes. We want those onions to be soft, those vegetables to be starting to soften. Now we're adding in our bean mixture. Again, that's a can of lentils, a can of kidney beans, a can of chickpeas. You can use any combination of beans and lentils that you like. We liked the color and the texture variety and the, the size variety of these three. And then adding in your whole can of diced tomatoes. Giving that a stir to mix together and then adding a cup of vegetable broth whether it's a homemade one or a store-bought one. Yes, you could use water as well, but it gives more depth of flavor to be using a, a broth. Now we're adding our spices here. We've got one teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of paprika, and a teaspoon of dried oregano. We're gonna give that a stir and then put on the lid and simmer that for at least a good 30 minutes. If you've got more time, give it more time. Oh, sorry, before we're putting on the lid, we're adding some pepper and a pinch of salt. Now we're gonna give that a stir. <laughs> of course, you need your salt and pepper in your recipe too. How did I overlook that? Now we're adding the lid and we're gonna simmer that for at least 30 minutes. When you're ready to uh, finish your simmering, go ahead and add in a three quarter cup of coconut milk. This is a, make it a creamy, rich vegan chili here. And just stir that together and keep it warm, get it warmed up there. You don't wanna cook the coconut milk for a long time. You're just getting it warm. And then uh, serve that. Feel free to add some cilantro if you love cilantro, some avocado, some toast, and enjoy. If you like today's recipe, give us a thumbs up button here. I've also queued up a couple of other vegan recipe videos you can cook along with us. So 
come join us to cook with some other vegan recipes. And in the meantime, enjoy healthy eating.